Also, yo, chat, guys. Bro. At this point, because, like, I haven't streamed on my YouTube channel for so long, every time I search up Yuri, literally everyone else's channel pops up before my channel pops up. It's like I go through even, like, channels I've never even heard of. That's what happened today. Big up, why not? Big up, why not? Sage advice. Why not? Big up, why not? Googling himself is a quick way to get the courage to bungee without a rope. If you're a prominent person, you really should take Joe Rogan's advice. Don't read the comments. Don't check what people say about you. Positive or negative, you should just be full steam ahead with whatever content you make. Now, I disagree. I don't think Rogan is as disciplined as he says he is about he never checks anything. I don't believe him because he's too big of a person not to be curious at least one time to see what people are saying. But actively going out of your way to search your name and see what people are saying is a fool's errand. It really is a fool's errand, especially if you're lacking self-awareness. If you're lacking in self-awareness, what is it? It's not going to do you any good anyway. You, like, you're going to, it's going to fuck up your brain. You're not going to understand it. You're going to get bitter. And then you're also going to be a bit like tight when you do your content. Just ignore what's happening and just focus on what you're doing anyway. For the most part, it's working for him, right? He's got a fucking loads of followers on on Kick. I'm not sure how many subs he's got, but at one point he was on the Kick Incentive Program. So he's making good money. He's doing what he likes to do. Sit on stream, smoking, listen to music, talking to his stream chat, and they like him for it. There's, he has no business watching anything what anyone says about him, me or anybody else, just focusing on what you're doing. But the moment you do it, you have to also be a bit open to what people are saying. But then if you're not, what's the point of watching? But I could be wrong. And I was trying to get my link for my stream today to post on IG, a random stream pops up where it's this dude who he sounds like he's from London or something like that. By the way, I love how some people, especially Americans, have an inability to... As to differentiate between somebody that is from where they're from or isn't from where they're from. Because what else do I sound like? Do I sound like an American guy? Or do I sound like a guy that's from England? Maybe you don't know I'm from London, but at least knowing, okay, cool, that guy's from, like, it's all, it's interesting because I can't pick out accent. Don't get me wrong. I can't pick out accent. I don't know a difference between Ohio and a fucking Boston accent or a Philly accent and what well, this accent. But I could say, oh, that person's likely from Eastern Europe. That person's likely from Spain. That person's likely from fucking Russia. That person's likely from somewhere in the Caribbean. It shouldn't be that hard, really. Really. Um, but I think the skin tone and the do-rag threw him off. Because he's probably so used to seeing people that look like me and who wear these things, being from where he's from, he's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like this guy wearing like a do-rag and glasses. And he, like, he sounds like he's from London, potentially. But <laughs> I don't know who he is. And it's like... He's just like, you know, it seems like he's like another example of just like people who just take the craziest narratives, bro. Like, just take like, I was like, I, I didn't even listen to the whole thing because as I was listening. Again, I take the craziest narrative, but then you don't listen to what I'm saying. Okay, the whole narrative thing, he needs to stop using that word. That uses, he's, he misuses the word, it's overused, and it's not saying what he wants to say. What he wants to say is that I'm making things up. What he wants to say is that I'm lying. Just say that. Don't say narrative because there is no narrative. There is no story. I'm just commenting on what you do on your streams. I'm not taking what you're doing and then weaving my own story. I'm seeing what you're doing and interpreting what I see. If you don't do the dumb shit, I've got nothing to talk about. That's it. If you don't do dumb shit, if you don't scream at your girlfriend, if you don't press her buttons, if you don't bicker on camera, if you don't have dumb opinions about things, I have nothing to talk about. Zero. There is no story. You say dumb things, I point and laugh. That's it. As I was like listening to it, I was like, bro, I'm like, this is the shit that happened. Like this, this is making me brain dead right now. No, no disrespect to him. It's like oh, no disrespect, but disrespect. I'm now creating false narratives, and I'm also making him brain dead. God damn it! I'm an L. Shit, I'm just like, dude. How do people just like assign themselves to or subscribe? I guess subscribe to like certain narrative. What's the narrative that you're a bit of a shitty boyfriend? That's subjective. But based on what I see, that's what I interpret. That you are a bit of a victim. That's subjective. But what I see is what I talk about. 
that you throw stones and hide your hands. That's subjective. But it's what I see and it's what I talk about. That's it. Nothing else really. Doesn't seem like a bad human being. Don't really know much about him. Don't really care. It's just based on the streams. It's not that deep. Fundamentally, at his core, he should never watch content about himself anyway. Because he doesn't have any self-awareness. He lacks introspection. He's very close-minded. Very stubborn, clearly. So maybe just don't watch what people say about you. Because it's just going to make you more pissed off. But if you're going to watch it, at least be open to what they're saying. You don't have to listen. You don't have to care. You don't have to change your behavior based on what someone says. But at least be like, oh, okay, yeah, I get why you'd say that. But but no, he's just like, no, nothing is what, everything you're saying is just like, bro, what narrative have I created? Honestly, it's just content that this guy puts out on the internet. Don't get me wrong. I do have a bit of sympathy for him because he does, he's an IRO streamer primarily. So he's on camera a lot more than he probably would want to be because that's the content that he makes. That's what pays the bills. And because of the amount of time he spends in front of a camera, you know, more than likely if all of us were on camera for like what, 10 hours every day, we're going to say and do some dumb shit. So maybe that's a reason why. But still, don't do it when you're on camera. It's not that hard, brother. With, for what reason? I don't know. With what evidence? I don't know. I don't get it, dude. The evidence is your streams. Oh, and, uh, and what does what stream chat say? Um, South, shout London. Why don't you get Riley back? You need to do a list. Oh, an IRO stream. Oh, and by the way, by the way, let's just make this point as well. Do you know how pathetic this guy is? Do you know how pathetic these people are? It's just a weird way to kind of look at the world. So everyone criticizes Yuri about how he treats Riley. I think it's a bit unfair because I think a lot of people are sympathetic or empathetic to Riley because they think she's attractive. I think people will then dismiss that she also can be annoying in her own way. I'm sure. It's, it always takes two to tango, especially in that kind of toxic relationship. It's not just him being a piece of shit. She's also a piece of shit, but she does it in her own way. Cool, whatever. People are, oh my God, Riley needs saving, she needs saving, she's saving. I personally think they could avoid 90% of their relationship problems on camera if, guess what? They didn't have the camera on when they were arguing. <laughs> if they turn off the stream when they're about to argue, it takes away half of the problems. Cool. Now, instead of deciding to do that, Riley has just decided not to be on camera anymore. That's her approach to kind of dis get rid of the toxicity. But the toxicity is your partner and yourself, not the viewers. The viewers don't create the toxicity in your relationship. You guys do because you guys press each other's buttons and you argue on camera and ridicule each other to the point where you cry or he gets exasperated and walks off in the middle of London and says he's going to get a hotel. You guys are doing that yourself. The chat doesn't do it. Or if the chat does it, guess what? Turn off TTS. And suddenly those, t those tips and shit, those text-to-speech tats that get you triggered won't trigger you anymore. That's all you have to do, just turn it off. But Yuri doesn't want to turn it off because he knows deep down, deep down he knows in his subconscious that that drama pays the bills, bro. Harassing your girlfriend, poking at her, teasing her, pressing her buttons, pushing her to the point of where she's going to have a breakdown, making her cry. That shit, unfortunately, unfortunately, pays the bills. So they keep doing it. But now Riley's trying to preserve her mental health. Cool. And she's not one to, she's not going to be on stream anymore. But you know what she's on? She's in the chat. So she's not on stream, but she's sitting in the other room on the chat watching him. So it's like, instead of changing your behavior, you just are on this. It's like, I love it. I fucking love it. Oh, babe, let's just change how we talk to each other. Let's change how we like, you know, show love. Let's change how we behave. No, 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 no. Forget that. I'm just not going to appear on stream. I'm just going to be in the chat instead. Genius. That guy hates you like crazy. Be water chat, guys. That guy hates you. I don't hate you. I don't know you to hate you. Honestly, the, the, the fucking ego on some of these people, it's not that deep. There's not much else to talk about. I don't watch reality TV. Um, Whatever else, else. This is my version of it. This is basically my version of Real House of whatever. This is it. You guys. If you're not a local, I have nothing to laugh about. I have to go elsewhere. I have to maybe start talking about Mersh, Nick Ricada, you know, Boogie, Wings. If you don't low-cow, I don't fucking speak. Simple as that, really. I don't hate you. I don't know you to hate you. Somebody in this chat. 
Augustino or some shit. That guy hates you on like crazy. <sighs> I used to kind of spell my name all right. He called me Augustine. And somebody else says, yeah, everyone's trying to become point and shoot. <laughs> okay. Big up point and shoot, but okay. <laughs> awareness about myself. I'm not. Thank you, AK. Thank you so much. This is, this might be the most, this might, this might be the most insane thing he says in the whole clip. Listen to what he says after this. Hold on. Thank you, AK. I appreciate you, bro. AK dropped a bag of two dollars. Gang. I have too many weed flavors right So is the volume up now? I'll put the volume up now. Now. Can you help me pick? Should I smoke pink pebbles by Lil Uzi? Wavy flakes by Baby Face Ray? Lucky charms by Bees? Or should I just roll this lemon cherry gelato that I was... Oh, wow. Somebody call me creepy. I look creepy, do I? Huh. Is it the glasses? Is it my face? Is it my do-rag? Somebody called Joe Mama 707 says, yeah, that's who I fucking hate. Dude is creepy. Huh. To be fair, though, if I did pop around the corner, <laughs> you know what I mean? Your wife would definitely scream. You know? Your partner, the mother of your kids, your mum, if I, like, pop around the corner, do you know what I mean? They probably would scream. To be fair. To be fair. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> thank you ak i appreciate you so much ak i don't think you realize this or not but you you just be flexing in the funniest ways possible i got so much of these weed strings i don't even know what to choose hey what should i smoke <laughs> this little zivert weed this little this v's weed it's like bro, you, no i don't think he understands he's doing that i think he's just asking a genuine question but he'd be flexing on all of us every single time he does it <laughs> Hey, what should I smoke? This ninety dollar raid, this hundred and twelve dollar raid, this hundred dollar raid. A little Uzi Vert. Choose a little Uzi Vert one. Fuck it. I choose little Uzi Vert. If I had to choose one thing that I do hate about him, it's the arms thing. But I think everyone hates that. It's just like, what are you doing? But as a person, I don't know you. I just know what you do on the internet. I just point and laugh at it and I ridicule it because it is quite insane that somebody of your age could be saying some of the things that you're saying and be so butthurt about things that you shouldn't be butthurt about. That's it, really. It's not that deep. It's not really that deep, really. You know, the arms thing is annoying. That's hate-worthy. But everything else, you know, you're not that hateable, really. No one thinks about you that much, to be honest. But hey, I could be wrong. It sounds like pink runs, potentially. Hey, K said, I don't mean like that. I'm sorry. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. It's just funny. Wait, God damn it! I forgot what I was gonna say. I got, I got distracted. What was I gonna say before that? Yeah, back, back to hating on a nigga. So back to hating on a nigga. <laughs> what was I gonna say before that? You hate black people. <laughs> AK, smoke us out. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Smoke me out. Smoke us out. <laughs> False narratives. Um. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, so guys, to get back to it, the false narrative thing. I'm not sure who that guy is. Someone said that he hates me. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I don't hate you. Do I don't know you. Do the constant things about people just spreading negativity on. Have you noticed though the time that you, Riley has spent away from the house? That's this is this is a question directed to him. Has Yuri noticed the time that Riley has not been on stream? The time that she spent away with her parents or whoever in San Francisco, has he not noticed that there's been a decrease in the amount of people talking about him? Has he not noticed that there aren't as many clips about him on the No Jumper subreddit? Has he noticed that I haven't been speaking about him as much or with level of frequency that I was in the past? Can't he realise that maybe the reason why people were talking about him was the Riley shit? And as soon as that stops, it's over. The only reason why people spoke about him again, or I did, was the owing money to Blasey thing, which was funny because a few weeks prior he was flexing, then he was talking about buying a house, and then he's then he obviously we heard that he owes money. So that was just funny to comment on because it's a funny sequence of events. Now the details could be different, but the the you know the facts are the facts. So doesn't he notice that if he stops abusing his girlfriend online, eighty percent of the abuse he gets online stops? Because apart from his beef with Riley online, he's kind of boring. There's not much to talk about. Not his fault. We are who we are. But he's not that interesting to talk about if he's not beefing with his girl on stream. The moment he starts beefing with his girl on stream, people are still talking about him. But then he then complains and says everyone's got their, their name in his mouth. 
but he doesn't realize they don't have it for a good reason. They don't, they don't got their name in the map because they're jealous of your success or they think you have interesting hot takes. No, they just take the piss out of the way you treat your girlfriend. On me and my name, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. And whenever I talk about this, people say like, oh, you can't take accountability, you do whatever. It's just, bro, let I've already gone through the whole chronological order of events on everything that's happened. You can watch my YouTube videos on the Yuri 2 channel if you guys want a fucking actual chronological order of events. But at this point, it's gone insane. And especially with the people who aren't, like, in my immediate circle, I guess, who people I know personally who are just going out of the way to talk shit, it's really become a thing where, guys, like I said, I'm not a super handsome dude at all. I'm very, very skinny. I'm not very tall. I'm not wealthy. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, just like, I'm not like, who's really going to look at me and be intimidated, right? But there are, chat, unfortunately, and somehow there are. There are people who look at me and they get intimidated. They're like, oh my God. Can you imagine your brain working like that? Is that narcissism? Could you imagine your brain working like that? Will you deduce that the reason why people speak about the way you treat your girlfriend on stream is that they are intimidated by you. That's what you get, you take away from it. That's your, that's how, that, that's your conclusion. They're intimidated by you. Wow. I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful and lucky that I don't, I'm not that delusional or I'm, I don't lack that much self reflection or introspection and I have some level of self awareness. Because I could never, I don't know what I'll do myself if that's how I viewed the world. If I like did things that would deemed, if I did things that would, that would warrant people kind of teasing me. And then I would then say, oh, you're just teasing me because you're jealous. No, I'm teasing you because you said something teasable. No, you're just intimidated and jealous because I'm like, okay, I guess if, if you said so, I guess so. I'm jealous of this fucker. <laughs> You're sexy style. Okay, AK dropped you, a bag of two dollars. Yo, you got me crying, bro. I needed that laugh low. Lil Lucy Pink Pebbles is being broken up as we pink speak. Pink Pebbles. This one anyway, that's basically the majority of the clip. Um, hey man. You know, you I'm talking to a brick wall at this point, so no point directing any more things at him. He's views he views his life one way. Other people view it another way. It is what it is. I guess the only opinion, the only advice I'd give to the guy, don't search things about yourself online. You lack the, you know, ability to be introspective or to be, you know, somewhat, whatever, reasonable when people say certain things. You don't see it their way anyway. So just do your thing in it. Like, there's no need to check what people say because you're not going to agree with it. It's going to wind you up anyway. And it's just going to keep people more fodder to kind of poke or to kind of point and laugh at you about, really, to be honest. Um, and also, maybe just keep your girlfriend off stream permanently and it'll stop everything, really. Because no one else has been covering or, you know, talking about what he's been doing because he's not been arguing with Riley. So if he just stops having her on camera, maybe stopping the behavior would be beneficial. If they, Because to be honest, having her on camera does probably help his business. Maybe just changing their behavior and how they treat each other is maybe a better long-term goal. If you decide, hey, let's keep arguments off of the stream... Let's try to be loving. Let's try and show people that we actually do care about each other, blah, blah, blah. It actually might be beneficial to them go going forward, but they don't. They'd rather just keep the arguments off camera, <laughs> right? Which is funny in itself, but hey, do what you need to do. So, um, you know, Godspeed to that guy. Godspeed to that young man. Godspeed to that young man.